Hi everybody, this is Leek McGillifree from Angel Crafts, Arts and Crafts by Leek. Find me on Facebook. Uh, I've got here some digitals and I couldn't wait so I had to film, although it's in the evening. I'm going to put up my protective thing for my finger for the filming. Um, I've got some digitals from Rach and Bella Crafts. Uh, the latest one, the crunchy, the white, I printed them out, I bought them and I had a, a freebie somewhere that I thought might be nice, so I printed that out. And um, from Margaret, this morning I saw Margaret having a, had a field day, <laughs> digitals, and uh, I love them so much, so I had to print them out this morning and i can't wait to use them so i'm gonna show you the lovely things she made the colors i love them so much the pages i printed out the pages and this is not the freebie i bought it there are some freebies but i don't know which one is the freebie or not I think this one was the freebie. And uh, I printed out the cards, the text, the other cards, and pockets. And I blew up some pieces. I don't know which one it was from the, or the, this one. piece and another piece and I made that to back back things I backed everything not with the same but I used two things to back it with to make the back side of the pages make the back of the cards this one her accident <laughs> accidentally did it twice but it's all right it's the back you see what happens the file folders i did this one on uh, 160 paper and these on 220 thick paper 220 gram paper these are the thicker cards, 220 papers, and I printed them on the back side too. This was my computer set finished, but I can use it, still use it. And I got the field, some field snow, snow, a freebie from um, the Junk Journal Studio that I thought would be nice with it. So I did uh, green labels, but I put a, a little film over it because it's a little bluish, more blue than green. So then it will go nice together. I took some things to make washi tape also from uh, Margaret. So I did a little mix up. So I think that will be nice too for washi. And maybe I'm going to take some more papers out. Like I still have some things. Oh yeah, I, pr I printed out on rice paper too to make collages. So I did three types to make collages on the rice paper. Oh, I love it. And then my printer said oh i'll do this one too for you well that's okay i'm gonna use it because i also have uh, these three on my desk and i thought while well, i have this one sometimes i need bigger square ones to stack and put some cards in that i'm working with so this is going to be another tower with scraps or the cards the bigger 
pieces. And also maybe one for my stamps, my little stamps with the little stamping blocks to have at hand. So this is going to be a nice tower that I'm going to use the collage on too maybe or other papers. But this is going to be the project that I'll be working on tonight. Yes, I know it's dinner time and my husband is going to work out. Maybe you're going to hear him, but that's okay. Uh, I took some alcohol inks for maybe touching up. Or I thought maybe a little thing will be nice to have the same green. So I already took the, my alcohol markers out. So that's it. This is what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to put the... the papers away I'm waiting for my son is going to collect some leather yay I had a bunch of leather and I thought maybe there's color that can go with or I can alter that um, thing to make it a nice leather cover um, I'm gonna show you do I have it here yes to stand up wait for me this is my boho leather i haven't i'll make a flip through maybe i'll make a flip through now i don't know anymore what i have in it but you get the thing i do a crochet closure um, with some pretty boho dangles some shell, colored shell, and um, oh, I tied it like this, so I made a hole with an eyelet, and here's also some dangle, some seashell, coral, they call it, and some uh, nice beads. A Buddha and uh, these are thick elastics that I used and they are white but I color them with my alcohol inks my alcohol inks are very handy uh, this is tangles a little bit yes so those two I uh, I painted the leather, it was white, creamy, no, it was pink, I thought, I don't know anymore, white or pink, uh, with a, with the same um, acrylic paint that I used uh, for the gold one, only this is a um, pearly, pearly color, white, pearly white, and uh, this is a piece of um, silk, I don't know what I made of it. I think a dress, something like that. But I used a, 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 a spare piece of it. And it were not the same colors as this. It was more like this. And I colored it also with my alcohol markers. And I sew it on. So this is, and in the inside is also, I sewed it on. You see, this is, this, these are the original colors, a bit more dull than uh, the other ones. And I made some, some inserts. I lost the word. Here, here is um, paper from Stamperia, the Asian uh, type paper, the arts paper. And these are um, papers for aquarelle. So I made some signatures that go in like this. And these go with the elastic bands. They are upside down. I think my book is upside down. Maybe. 
So this is an, another signature with some cards. You can also put some papers in. There's room enough. I believe that this paper is from Emma Parrish. And I stenciled. And I think this is wallpaper that I glued a um, collage on. So I can feel it. Yeah, it's called wallpaper. Um, so, very nice. The combination. I love to combine, combine the um, several things together so it won't be that dull. I think it's nice to have two or three <laughs> paper types descents together. So I combined the Emma Parish. Oh, <laughs> I have to glue that again. The Emma Parish and I stamperia, two kinds of stamperia paper. A hidden paper clip. A little envelope with a card. It's upside down. So you see combinations. I work with combinations. Not not well, I don't think I ever took just one. A little closure with a pa mini paper clip with a bread. Um the hidden paper clip and then you open it up and you have more papers. This, um, this is more like a notebook to write with. And these are also two combinations. I don't remember this one, where I got it from. If you need to know, I will look it up. But So a hidden paper clip. Um, this is another booklet. I don't even know. Oh, this. <laughs> well, the, how it works is it's been a, a long time ago and I haven't used it. So I think maybe I'm going to put this up for adoption. If someone is interested, let me know. Um, a card. And this is also another. This is not uh, the art. So I took it from everywhere. Emma Parish. A card. This is um, the Alchemy. It's also nice with boho style. So I think I started with this piece of silk. And then I found papers to go with it. And another one and another one. And this is very old. This this is I bought this paper at Artifax Artifax uh, when I was on uh, art school because it was near the the shop Artifax was next to the art school in the Hague. So this is well. Um, I I think it's thirty five year old paper that I used. Uh, I made some tickets. I think these are done my own. Uh, and these are um, butterfly stickers that I made myself. So I'm still working on the black and white digitals. And this is also another paper design from Stamperia. These are the calligraphy here. These are also very old papers, but I thought, hey, this is... I guess it's, it's a booklet I made 33 years ago, more than 33 years ago, because I went to school there before I was pregnant, so... <laughs> and I thought, hey, this is going to have a nice place here. So that's a short... Um, flip through. So this is the kind I make with leather. And this goes like this. So it's tied. 
So that's for the leather part that I'm waiting on because I know I I had some blue leather and I had some striped blue and I, I think I can make that one fitting in colors with this. So I'm going to take this paper away for now. And I think I'm going to work on these. I have to see how long I was busy. Mm, I'm going to start. Just start. So these are the papers that I think I'm going to collage with. This is another paper I found. was in Corona. I put it down here. And I have some other papers that I can maybe use. To decorate because it doesn't matter so this is left over from the junk mill studio and some things i tried out this is <coughs> <coughs> sorry excuse me it's the scent that comes off from the papers maybe the ink coming out I don't know but this is kind of stone paper I try to print on still working on that because I thought my printer would paint would print it but he doesn't like it you see the the difference it makes it very bleeding. This is the same. What he does with the paper. So I think I need to print it faster if I can. And maybe uh, lighter. Not as dark as it is. Then maybe it will be better. But I think for collaging or maybe putting collage on is I'm not gonna throw it away so maybe I'm gonna start with this but I thought if I had a box with the <clears throat> the Margaret papers oh Margaret from I didn't mention her name because I was so enthusiastic enthusiastic um, the field notes pay uh, is is the the latest from Margaret from seven plaza Seven Plaza, Margaret from Seven Plaza. I love them. I love the colors. These, these are my favorite colors to combine the 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 brownish and the and the teal. In Dutch we call it sea green, zeegroen, and you call it teal. I love it. So if I have uh, one box with this, I have a box ready for my um cutties cutouts my what are they called fuzzy cuts so maybe i'm gonna use where's the other one that i had and put put some of margaret over it like this this is Yes. Mm. Yeah, this is also a bit, a bit. Maybe I better take these ones out to collage. Um, this is going to be. glued on the other box so this flap I don't have to color but um, collage but this one is sticking out so I don't know if I'm gonna 
release it but I'm gonna take a piece like this and this is the stone paper so we can see how I what I will be doing with that It won't tear. It's a kind of plastic. So it won't tear. I don't know if it will bleed if I use glue. I'm gonna put this away for now. I'm gonna use this one. Maybe crystals. This is always suck. It's like making a present. Just glue it and wrap it. So, I think I'm going to leave you here because this is rather simple I guess I'm gonna wrap it I'm gonna take a piece to put here this I'm gonna leave so I'll say goodbye and see you I think tomorrow with the next phase of this project so then I'll have two boxes wrapped and ready to go and I'm going to show you how I make uh, the uh, decoration so that's for now okay bye thanks for watching don't forget to watch to like and subscribe bye